Hi everybody, um, I'm just going to add some audio to an old uh, auto flight vertical flight path modes video. Um, I've been asked to do this, it, it does need it. Now, vertical flight path modes are the hardest because when all the automatics are switched on, the autopilot and the auto throttle, then they will interact. Uh, this doesn't affect the lateral modes, so when you're doing heading, or LNAV, um, VOR, localizer. The auto throttle is not associated with the uh, the roll channel with the autopilot. When things get tricky, is when the autopilot is uh, in in a pitch mode, and you want the throttle to do something for you. So, for instance, in a climb, you might want climb thrust, and you would, or the autopilot will control your speed. By using pitch angle and that in fact is the safest way to climb it's called level change um, or open climb in Airbus uh, but there are times when you want the auto throttle to do something else for instance in alt hold which is the first one we'll look at the auto throttle will be controlling our airspeed because the autopilot is occupied doing altitude holding um, and clearly it would be difficult if for instance you drifted below your altitude and you were also uh, you also needed to go faster uh, it would be difficult for the autopilot to pitch you up to get back to altitude and um, pitch you down at the same time to increase your airspeed so it can only do one thing so the autopilot will be doing something which may be speed if the autopilot cannot do the speed then the auto throttle will do otherwise the auto throttle will be doing a thrust for takeoff or climb for instance or it could well be at idle or no thrust for a descent okay so I'm going to start the video I'm watching it as I go and the first one we see is altitude hold now altitude hold autopilot is in command the auto throttle is on so this means that the autopilot is controlling our attitude and maintaining the altitude and our auto throttle will be controlling the indicated airspeed. You can see that's coming from the um, from the MCP panel at the moment. Now when we go from altitude hold to level change, so what's going to happen here is we've set an altitude, we press the level change button and you'll see on the FMA the autopilot has gone to speed and the auto throttle has gone to N1 and you can see on the ECAS display that the auto throttle has increased its thrust to give us a climb thrust even though it's annotated as cruise at the top of the screen but we are still getting a climb thrust as we reach the altitude alt acquire comes in and then of course when that happens the auto throttle will go back to controlling our airspeed if you treat alt acquire like altitude hold you can't go far wrong but it isn't a mode that you can select you can see we're now back in altitude hold so that's pretty good. Next one then, altitude hold to level change, but this time descending. Now if I'm going to descend, and we're going to set a, a lower altitude. So we're going from 6,000 down to, what have we got this time? Come on, keep going. A bit further. Oh, just 5,000 feet. Okay, so just 1,000 feet, but that's fine. We press level change and immediately when we do that the autopilot will go to, into controlling the speed and the auto throttle goes to idle. You can see it says retard in the auto throttle window. The throttles are slowly retarding to idle and as the thrust drops off so to maintain speed from the MCP in this case 220 knots the autopilot will have to pitch the nose down. Remember the autopilot is controlling speed. When we reach our target altitude again, the alt acquire mode comes in automatically and the auto throttle goes back to doing MCP speed. So remember altitude acquire is like altitude hold. The autopilot will, will acquire the altitude. The auto throttle will do the uh, speed. Now we're going to VS mode from altitude hold so let's see we're changing the um, altitude 
because unless we do nothing much is going to happen and we want to uh, use the VS mode to climb in this case so we've set 10,000 feet we press VS and immediately we get a VS of zero now that's normal because that's the VS we had at the time now as I wind the VS up you'll see that this time because we're not uh, climbing in level change the autopilot is controlling the vertical speed it cannot do the airspeed as well therefore in a VS climb the auto throttle as you can see is now con trying to control the MCP speed and I say trying to control because if I overdo uh, the vertical speed then the auto throttle will have uh, a struggle on its hands to maintain the airspeed and at the moment it's fine I've set plus 1500 feet per minute and we have plenty of thrust to maintain that speed of 220. Now I've cranked it up to what 4,000, 5,000 feet per minute and you can see that the autopilot is giving us that rate of climb. The problem is now that because the rate of climb is excessive for the thrust we've got the speed is dropping off. Yeah, the VS has been increased too much. Now uh, this is dangerous of course because we could now quite easily approach the stall. So to ensure that that doesn't happen and I don't get a reversion which is an emergency um, thing to stop it over speeding or under speeding sorry. The uh, vertical speed has been reduced and you know, we're now happy again the auto throttle can cope. And again altitude acquire then altitude hold auto throttle goes back to doing the speed. Bear in mind it was doing the speed anyway because it was a VS uh, climb. So now I'm going to use altitude hold to interrupt a climb. So what we'll see now is we'll be climbing away. There we go. MCP speed so we're in level change mode as you can see. And the uh, altitude hold button will be pressed and of course what's going to happen then is that when the altitude hold button is pressed the autopilot will be told effectively to level off the aircraft. So we're going to press up 11,000 feet. There we go. Autopilot goes into leveling off the aircraft at 11,000 feet. So what you'll see is we will climb past that and then go back to it because that's when we press the button. The auto throttle, of course, is having to do the indicated airspeed. The autopilot can only do one thing. And if it isn't doing speed, then that means the auto throttle will be doing the speed. So when the autopilot is doing alt hold or uh, VNAV path or glide slope, for instance, then the auto throttle must be doing the speed, the indicated airspeed. Just look at what the autopilot is doing. If the autopilot is busy doing something else, then the auto throttle must be doing the speed. And you can tell from the FMA whether the uh, auto throttle is doing speed or whether the autopilot is. Remember it normally says if the autopilot is doing the speed. Um, it'll say MCP speed or VNAV speed or FMC speed, something like that. Okay.